So they, they are uh, uh, interesting te technological evolution and even disruptions that are uh, taking place in the market those days in 2014. It started last year and it will continue for a while. But it's the emergence of a new generation Wi-Fi, uh, which is very important in the home, and um, there is then LTE. So let's speak about the Wi-Fi first. Uh, this is uh, an area where uh, Technicolor is profiling uh, itself as a company uh, really as uh, the leader in the marketplace. We have won uh, very significant contracts in 2013 for new generation Wi-Fi with our gateways uh, for the cable operators in the US. We are delivering uh, millions of uh, products uh, both in 2013 and 2014 and we are gaining momentum in the other parts of the world as well. So our Wi-Fi technology is second to none and it is recognized uh, as such by uh, the industry. It's not only about the technology itself, it's also about the ecosystem and the applications that we have built, that we are building around this Wi-Fi technology. And one of the very interesting applications that we are introducing this year is what is called Wi-Fi Doctor. So this is uh, an application that is helping our customers, the NSPs, the network service providers, big time in order for them to reduce their uh, call center costs and make sure that most of the problems would be solved at home through the introduction and the usage of that Wi-Fi Doctor application. We are introducing in 2014 our new generation set-top boxes uh, based on LTE and uh, for some of them uh, based also on Android technology, which is definitely the way to go, by the way, as far as uh, set-top boxes are concerned. This uh, gives the possibility to leverage all the application uh, engine, the application shop that we have around Android uh, in, on the marketplace, especially uh, speaking about gaming, which is uh, definitely becoming some kind of cherry on the cake on the offer that we are uh, providing to the market. If we see what kind of evolution the Wi-Fi technology is going through, uh, we have delivered until uh, last year uh, most of our products in what is called the 11N technology for, for Wi-Fi. We move now massively to 11AC. Um, this is uh, really requested uh, everywhere in the marketplace and this is uh, bringing uh, the uh, performance in terms of Wi-Fi one or two orders of magnitude above what we had before and, and there are other things that are uh, definitely in the pipeline in terms of uh, research activities in order to improve that further. So I'm quite confident that we will be able to keep up with uh, the evolution in the home uh, which is uh, going to be influenced uh, quite a lot by this uh, Internet of Things uh, this is, that is becoming a reality right now. But there, is also, there are also other technologies than Wi-Fi when we are speaking about um, Internet of Things. Uh, the data collection from uh, uh, the data interfaces with any kind of equipment in the home, in, in the process of the world, by the way, can be in the car as well. Uh, this is something that can be done through Wi-Fi, but also through other technologies that are uh, uh, highly scalable and that uh, definitely will help us to cope with the explosion of the the data usage uh, in the context of the deployment of the Internet of Things uh, big scale.